Hey guys, welcome back to Time Drops and welcome to another review video. Ladies and gentlemen, it's finally here. I know I said that last year when the GM2100 released, but this time it actually is finally here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the incredibly hyped full metal Casio, the GM B2100. If you're familiar with the channel, you'll know we're a big fan of Casiokes here, and for the last few years we've all speculated when this full metal Casio might finally arrive. Well, that time has finally come and we're going to be running through everything about this timepiece, what it's got to offer, and see if it really is that good. As always, we'll be taking a look through the watch's history, its price, design and functionality, and then at the end of this video, taking all of these into consideration, I'll be giving you my overall verdict. If you're excited to see what's in store and you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and join our awesome community, and then sit back, relax, and we'll jump right in. I'm sure by now you're already very aware of the GA2100 model series that first released back in 2019, that took the watch industry by storm. These were soon nicknamed the Casio due to their octagonal structure, while taking inspiration from the first ever G-Shock in the DW5000, being reminiscent of luxury watch brand Audemars PJ's Royal Oak, however, priced at just $99. Well, it's safe to say that these were a huge hit and have maintained their high level of popularity ever since, ultimately becoming G-Shock's most popular watch model. So, being humans, almost straight after, we all wanted more, and for G-Shock to add some metal and some enhanced functionality to that watch. Which we have been getting, but in phases and rather slowly, in what you could call stepping stones. We saw many iterations of the GA2100 for the next few years, but had to wait until August 2021 when G-Shock finally introduced the GM2100. This added the premium look of a stainless steel bezel to its design, while retaining its resin band and all of its existing functionality, which in fairness was already pretty extensive. Again, as to be expected, these two flew off the shelves at a rate of knots, but this was just another stepping stone to what the watch world ultimately wanted, a full metal Casio. In May of this year though, there was a very welcome upgrade to the GA2100 released, the GAB2100, including those enhancements we were after by adding the functionality of Bluetooth and solar power charging. And fast forward to now, we are finally seeing the full metal Casio. G-Shock have finally given the people what they want with this brand new GMB2100 series, which includes three models. We have the black on black stealth model in the GMB2100BD-1A, the rose gold GMB2100GD-5A, and then my pick of the bunch and the one you're seeing here, the stainless steel GMB2100D-1A. So let's kick off by talking price, as this has been a hot topic since it was announced. This stainless steel Casio has a retail price of $550, 449 UK pounds or 71,500 yen while the IP coated black and rose gold iterations are priced the same and slightly higher at 600 US dollars, 499 UK pounds or 80,300 yen. Now of course, this is towards the more mid to high range of the G-Shock catalog and many people out there have been surprised by the significant jump from the GAB2100's price of around 150 to 160 US dollars or the GM2100's price of around 200 dollars. But I can't help think this was to be expected. Comparing this to other full metal models in the G-Shock range, such as the GMW B5000 and the AWM500, they're in the same ballpark. And this is the Casio after all, and while a significant amount of money for any timepiece, one that I feel many are willing to pay for such design. So let's get into that a bit more. Introducing the GM B2100, the most premium expression of the Casio to date, and the first full metal addition to the continually evolving 2100 line of timepieces. The full metal construction of this analog and digital model features a screw back case, bezel and band crafted in stainless steel that creates a streamlined, minimalist design. The new full metal case of the GMB2100 was crafted using a three part surface finishing procedure that involves a circular hairline finish on the visible top surfaces, a vertical hairline finish on the case band and a reflective satin finish on the bezel, all encapsulating its luxury design intentions while still protecting the module from impact when dropped thanks to G-Shock's infamous shock resistance, where we see the resin model's carbon core guard structure swapped out for G-Shock's usual shock resistant one that we see on so many of its all metal models. Taking a closer look at the face, G-Shock again utilise their very popular multi-layer dial, which creates a seriously intriguing three-dimensional look. You'll also notice that essentially everything is blacked out, with subtle grey writing to indicate its features, 
much like we saw in the ever popular GA2100 1A1 stealth model. And much like that model, as well as the other two within this release, we also see a negative LCD display sat in the bottom right as you look at the dial. Now, this has also sparked a bit of a discussion as well. The fact that none of these models feature a positive display has meant that the potential lack of legibility has prevented certain Casio enthusiasts from pulling the trigger. As I said before, luckily I'm indifferent when it comes to the choice of a positive or negative display, as I'm happy to read either, but totally get that it's easier with a positive one. For me, I just like to see that it suits the watch from an aesthetic perspective. Now, what I will say is I think the negative display suits this model, as well as the full stealth model, of course, really well. I do, however, think the rose gold model missed an opportunity with the positive display, especially seeing as the indices are already brightened up. Alas, I digress. Another really key and awesome point to note is that this GMB2100 is the first Casio to feature loomed indices. Many Casio's of the past are treated with Neo Bright to enable their hands to glow in the dark, but adding the same solution to the indices has been highly requested by fans. Well, G-Shock have also listened to that and applied such technique to this design. A real quick and easy win for them admittedly, but certainly a welcome one for us. At 9 o'clock, as we saw with the GAB2100, we're also swapping out what was the day dial of the GA2100 model, I hope you're still following me with these model numbers by the way, for a multi-function indicator. As you flick through each mode on the watch, the dial on the left hand side will follow you. It will also let you know the current battery level, be it high, medium or low, which is very handy on quick glance. One last thing to mention in this design section is that when taking this watch out into the sunshine, as you move your wrist, you'll see this reflect and ping off an almost iridescent rainbow effect right before your eyes, thanks to the way in which the indices are cut and finished. Very cool talking point and a real icing on the cake for this Casio. So with all that being said, let's take a look at what we've got under the hood and take a closer look at its functionality. These watches feature everything that the GAB2100 has to offer in terms of functionality, so include the recent enhancements of Bluetooth and solar power charging. The feature list includes 200m water resistance, world time, stopwatch, scratch resistant mineral glass housing it all, countdown timer, 5 daily alarms, a full auto calendar and a battery level indicator and power save thanks to its tough solar. On a full charge, the watch can operate for about 7 months with normal use without further exposure to light, or up to 18 months when stored in darkness with power saving enabled. And if you manage it well, regularly exposing this watch to bright light will provide maintenance free operation for many years. Checking out its Bluetooth capabilities, the Bluetooth link provides enhanced features through the Casio smartphone app, Casio Watches. Well for starters, it allows easy watch setting, it also has automatic time adjustments which happens 4 times a day, there's approximately 300 world time cities, it has a time and place memory log function, a reminder function and the phone finder function, which I'm sure we will all find very handy. Now, as this Casio seems to be doing quite a bit, this has also sparked an interesting discussion. As I mentioned in my review of the GAB2100, quite a lot of people have said they'd much rather multiband 6 over Bluetooth for timekeeping, and I understand that completely. It's certainly an awesome feature, however, due to the way multiband 6 works, where terrestrial radio wave reception is received from six transmission stations worldwide means that not everyone in all locations will necessarily receive a strong reception, or at all. Whereas, with the watch being paired with your phone, it will mean that timekeeping accuracy will be precise wherever you might be, along with a long list of additional functions Bluetooth offers, as I just mentioned. The app itself is relatively standard, nothing too crazy, but does the job well. As I've said previously, I would really like to see a one size fits all app release from G-Shock. We see the G-Shock Move app for their fitness range. We've seen previous apps that are still in the app stores. Why not merge them all into one and just have a perfect app? I mean, you can of course still operate the watch solely by using its four buttons on the outside, but you know, 2022 and all that. One final feature that may just be the highlight, if you'll pardon the pun, is the GMB2100 Super Illuminator Double LED Light. The reason I wanted to highlight this feature on its own is because as I said in my review of the GAB2100, I think G-Shock may have finally fixed, in inverted commas, the light a lot of us had mentioned having its shortcomings from the GA2100. I personally felt it wasn't bright enough to light up the face and paled in comparison to say an electroluminescent backlight we saw in a DW6900 model for example. However, as you'll see here, it's got a whole lot brighter. This light is now spot on. It's crisp and a whole lot sharper when compared to the GA2100, something that pleases me and I know that will please a lot of you. 
In terms of dimensions, this one is 49.8 millimeters in length, so from lug to lug. It has a width of 44.4 millimeters and is 12.8 millimeters thick. As it arrives, it weighs 165 grams, but when sized for my wrist, takes it down to approximately 150. Once you've resized it, it's claspable button down and lock it into place to make sure it's not going anywhere. And this watch sits so nicely on the wrist and the weight of it gives it that extra luxury feel. That feeling of knowing you're wearing a proper watch. So with all that being said, let's head into the final section and give you my overall verdict. So what's my overall verdict of the brand new full metal Casio, the GMB2100? Well, you could probably already tell which way this was going, but for me, being a G-Shock fan already, I was eagerly anticipating what this might eventually turn out to be. The GMB2100 is everything I hope for and more. The octagonal structure of the GA2100 has become a real modern day classic, so adding some awesome functionality features to its already extensive list, plus of course its full metal multi-brushed finish casing, makes this one a complete all-rounder and certainly well worth the wait. I mentioned in my review of the GM2100 last year how those watches were not just great looking G-Shocks, but a whole lot more than that. Those models were enough to rival most luxury watches you'll see in your everyday shop window and not just enhance a G-Shock collection, but any watch collection. And with these GMB 2100s, I feel we've gone one step further again. Of course, the price of this G-Shock is not to be taken lightly, so you want to make sure you're getting full value for money. And personally, I think the look of this timepiece justifies that alone, but with a long list of functionality, plus its incredible durability, you've got yourself one heck of a timepiece and this one is seriously hard to beat. And with all that being said, that just about wraps this one up guys. I'd like to round this video off with a few bits of food for thought though. I can't help but think G-Shock may still be leaving the door open. What do you think? I imagine we'll see some additional IP coated colorways soon enough. Yellow gold seems to be the next logical step and I've seen it rumored that that may be one for G-Shock's 40th anniversary next year. What colorways would you like to see? I also wonder whether we'll eventually see an MRG version of these one day. I guess time will tell. For now, I'm more than chuffed with this full metal Casio and so glad I'm finally able to say it. I've reviewed many a Casio on the channel, so if you're a fan, why not go check those out? And if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for loads more reviews and unboxings of some of your favorite G-Shock releases. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.